Young Geek channel. This episode, we'll be talking about the Stoger Cougar. Before we get started, let's go over some of the specifications. The Stoger Cougar comes in 9mm, 40 caliber, and now, uh, just in the last, I guess, year 45 caliber. One of the differences between the 45 caliber, which just came out from the older models, is it has a accessory rail for a laser or a light now, whereas the 9 and the 40 still do not. I don't know if in the future they'll be adding it to these other models or not. They all weigh, you know, give or take an ounce, around 33 ounces. The barrel length is 3.6 inches. And you should expect to pay about $400, give or take $50, depending on where you are in the country or in the world. This is a double action, single action type trigger. This has been safety checked, as you can see. When I pull back on the trigger, you see it come back. Um, also, single action. I don't want to dry fire this, so see. One of the other things is that it has both a safety and decocker in one on this lever. It is ambidextrous. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this lever down, and you'll see how that decocks it. Um, one of the things. I don't know if you can see, but when you pull this down, it <laughs> it uh, rotates this pin out of the way. So it uh, not only does it decock it, but the safety works by rotating a pin that would transfer the energy from the trigger or from the hammer to the firing pin. So you can see as I pull that down. You can see it's starting to rotate, and then it finally releases the hammer. Another unique thing about the Stoger Cougar is that it has a rotating barrel. If you uh, can watch this here as I pull back on the slide, you can actually see it rotate a little bit. And this is something that eventually worked its way into what replaced the Stoger Cougar, which is the PX4, Beretta PX4. Now, I'm saying it was replaced by the Beretta PX4 because Stoger Cougar used to be Beretta Cougar. Okay, I want to go over a little bit of history of the Stoger Cougar because originally, as I was saying, it was owned by or made by Beretta. Um, in the 1990s, Stoger purchased was purchased by a Finnish rifle manufacturer, Seiko, which, by the way, makes some very good rifles. Um, in 2000, Seiko was acquired by Beretta Holding SPA. At the time, Stoger Industries was placed under the ownership of Benelli, where it remains today as a member of Benelli USA. Um, so what happened uh, while this was all going on is that Beretta came out with the PX4, they took all the tooling equipment that made the Cougar and moved it to Turkey where they could manufacture it cheaper but on the same equipment. So you're really getting the same quality uh, handgun and it's made with the same exact equipment for half the price. Originally it was sold for about seven eight hundred dollars by Beretta. Now you could get it made by Stoger for about four hundred dollars. So this is really really uh, a good deal that many of you might not be aware of. You're, you're really getting a gun worth a lot more when you purchase the Stoger Cougar. One of the things that made me a big fan was I walked into my local gun shop and the owner said, hey, check this out. And he put it, you know, he, he told me, go ahead and feel this. And I went ahead and put, you know, got my grip around it and I immediately fell in love with the way that this handgun feels. Now, I'm trying to figure out exactly why this thing feels so good to me. Uh, again, it could be different. It depends on your hand size and everything. But one of the things I noticed was that the grips are really rounded or tapered on the edges. So you end up with a very nice round or oval type grip. 
and you also have this indent right here and I think the combination of these two things really make for a wonderful grip and a, a great feeling handgun now one of the things that Beretta is known for is very big grips and this grip is big this is a double stack magazine that that goes into this grip so it is kind of wide um, if you have small hands you may have trouble with this grip but if you have medium or large hands this should be great so if you're um, at your local gun shop and they do have a Stoger Cougar you may at least want to you know pick one up and see how it feels and if it does feel good to you um, you have a good bargain there that might be hard to pass up. Now let's talk about some of the things that I personally do not like about this. And I, I every single gun I own, there are things that I don't like. So don't think I'm slamming this particular handgun. Uh, the first thing is fit and finish. There are a couple of spots, like you can see the slight gap there between the slide and the front sight. So a little fit and finish there. There's also a slight bit of tooling. I can see some machine marks inside here, very slightly um, machining. But overall, it, it, the fit and finish is very good, except for those two things on this particular handgun. Another thing is, depending on the model, um, these edges here can be very sharp. The nine millimeter is actually smoothed out the 40 has a very sharp edge very sharp edge right there so if your grip and it would be really hard but if your your web of your finger or your hand is way up here for some reason um, first of all you're going to get whacked by the hammer but as that slide comes back, you don't want that edge, that point, to come into your hand because you're going to be going to the hospital. So that particular point right there, be careful. You know, when you pick it up in the store and you hold it, see where your grip is. If you're nowhere near, which I wasn't, I wouldn't be concerned about it at all. But just making you aware, one of the things I don't like. Um, another thing that I'm not a big fan of or plastic guide rods and it is a plastic guide rod I don't even know if there's a replacement if this were a Glock you'd, you'd find replacements all over the place uh, but it is plastic I haven't had any issues with it I've put hundreds and hundreds of rounds through here and have not had a problem so I don't anticipate there really is an issue with that and the last thing I wish I did have some sort of accessory rail on here and this particular model the 9 and the 40 caliber uh, do not have the accessory rail the 40, new 45 caliber version does according to the website I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a field strip here so we could see what, what looks what it looks like inside <laughs> 